I'll be doing it half cast, half back. Squinch your eyes, squinch them. I don't do natural. We're gonna do natural, we're not gonna wear makeup, okay? That's natural. I was wrong. I admit, I was wrong. We gotta talk. I'm back from Fashion Week. I went to a Christian Louboutin Beauty Masterclass and I got their foundation, which you can see right here is so beautiful. I've got shades 80N, 75W, and 75N. This is a full size bottle. The other two are samples. I got this huge gift box from them that I could not take with me on the plane, so I had to take out all of the inserts and that's where these small ones come from. I think I stand corrected and we're gonna figure this out in this video. When I went to the Masterclass, Class. I was given all kinds of eyes because I'm like, where's my shade? Why am I here? Okay, I was feeling like, yo, what's going on? And there were a few of us brown skin girls that were like, excuse me, is, has this been a mistake? The makeup artist was very sweet, acknowledged that there are a lot of shades missing, acknowledged that there was inclusivity that was needed. So that was nice, but I still was like, dang, I can't take any shade home for me to try. Well, when I got home and I looked at my gift box, I actually was corrected. I was like, wait a second, I think that 80N is my shade. Now, I never swatched it. I wanted it now in this video. The backstory is important for you to understand. And we're gonna figure this out because this looks like my shade in a way that it's deep enough that I like it, because you know how I like to do my foundation. But of course, I've got 70N and 70W for us to swatch to see Wagwan. So let's get into it. This is the Christian Louboutin Tante Fetiche Le Fluid. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's just so sweet. French, obvi, right? The shade is 80N Brown Nude. It's a long lasting formula, 24 hour, no transfer, comfortable wear. It's a luminous matte finish, which you know I love. I love that in the Gucci foundation. I've got this beautiful Christian Louboutin brush that I'm gonna use to apply the foundation. The makeup artist did apply with her fingers on the model, but you know I me, mean, I love a good brush. I'm at the back of the hand. I'm not sure how it squirts out. Oh, okay. Nice and short. When I swatched this in my hotel, I was dumbfounded. The color is so pretty. Let's use this brush. How? <laughs> yes. Yes. Now it's deep, but again, in the way that I like it because it's gonna match my neck and chest and then it's all gonna come together. Okay, that's 80N, right? We're gonna use that, but let's swatch. This is 75N. 75N, you may feel matches me, but it matches my face too much. And if I were to put this all over my face, it would make me feel way too light and washed out because of the way that I build up my concealer and the contour and the whole thing. So that matches my face. This matches my neck and chest. I like to go with the neck and chest. Okay, but if you are my skin tone match, then you have this for reference. And when matching your foundations, you've got to decide what you want to match to. Because if your face is already darker without makeup, darker than your, your body, then you may want to match that darker tone. Or you may want to neutralize it by matching your body. Hopefully that makes sense to you. But I like to match my body because my face is lighter because I do so many treatments like retinol, for instance, that helps to increase the skin cell turnover and make my skin look more youthful. My face exfoliates a lot more than my body, all right? That's why it's lighter. This is is a shade 75W. I could make this work too. Wow, I like an N, but this is way too light. I really could go with this. Wow, it looks so beautiful. But I'm gonna go with this because I like to go darker. I'm, again, I stand corrected. Team, I'm corrected. Looking at the shades on the counter, in the bottle, I literally was like, what's going on here? And I now have two shades. I was wrong. I admit, I was wrong. And I'm glad because I wanted to try this out. Man, should I go here? If I go here, I can't highlight too much. If I go here, I can really highlight my face. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna try both out eventually. I'm gonna go darker because I just, I know what I want this to look like in the end. I know how I want it to look. But in another video, we will go here. That looks good. I love the finish of the foundation. I will say that it's on the medium side of thickness. When I think of Julia's Place foundation, for instance, very thick, right? And when I think of the Laura Mercier foundation, very loose. This one is in the, in the middle of that, if you have either of those two. It's medium coverage, which I think still looks pretty. I like to not see my skin under my foundation. However, if you like to still see your skin and you like a good medium coverage, or if you wanna go lighter, use less product, then I think this is a good option for you if you love a good luxury foundation, baby. The foundation retails for $77. 
colors, by the way. I will also note that I'm not a fan of using a flat brush to apply foundation. Although I did that because I wanted to give this brush a try. It is a nice brush. You could even use this to blend out your concealer if you wanted to, but I like to stick with what works for me. Not flat in this way, you know what I mean. I normally will use this Morphe brush because it's, it's at an angle or a flat Kabuki, which is a flat line and then pounce it onto the face. I did go over my brows again with the product. It covered it nicely again, medium coverage. This is how the face looks, okay? Let's build it up. You will note too that I do have some texture on my face, a smidge of a breakout. I have rosacea, if you don't already know, and that's what you're seeing. But I do see some luminosity in the foundation, which I think is really pretty. Even on the model, her face looked phenomenal. It looked like she had nothing on. It was so good. This is the Fenty Wear Even Hydrating Longwear Concealer. The shade is 445N. And let's use this to highlight the face. You don't like to start right here and then blend it all out. I don't do the TikTok application, okay? I'm old school when it comes to this. I like to stick to what works for me, okay? Praise the Lord. And here we have, oop, it's dry. Let's make sure that we soak this and then squeeze out the excess water. Soak it through and through in the sink and then squeeze out the excess water on a towel so that it's damp and not soaked. And then we're gonna blend from the middle of the eye and then outward. You know me, I like to do a full face. I don't be doing it half cast, half ass. Okay, we're gonna go all the way, all right? So focusing here in the middle, and then once we get to the outer part here, I want to blend out the excess. I don't want there to be any harsh lines. I didn't take my foundation all the way to my hairline because I'm gonna contour, and I'm gonna throw a wig on. We just don't need it all kicked up into the hairline for what reason, you feel me? Now comment below and let me know if you love a good luxury foundation, because listen, I love a good e.l.f., I love a good the lip bar, I love a good Maybelline, I love a good L'Oreal, I love all of it. And I love me a good Gucci, I love me a good, now I'ma throw the Louboutin in the rotation, you feel me? I love a good Estee Lauder. You understand? Because they all have their time in their place. Once I've worn so many different foundations and gotten a feel for how it behaves on my skin, then I'll pick and choose based on where I'm going, what foundation I wanna wear. It really is about your lifestyle and, and what you like. For instance, you can buy a good luxury pair of jeans or you can go to Target and get a pair of jeans. And if, it, if you're me, you're gonna do both, you understand? So there's an appetite for both, in my opinion. See, now look, looking at my face right now, I think it looks so light. In a good way, let me explain it to you. If I had used the other foundation and then used that concealer, I would look way more light than I do right now, okay? Because if you look, I have a subtle contour, but I have not contoured yet, okay? That's why for my skin tone and the way that I do my makeup, I like to go really dark. I've gone darker with my foundation in the past if you see my videos. And then I highlight it all with the concealer and then we're gonna add the shadow with the contour. I love this LYS Beauty Worthy Stick Bronzer. It's a bronzer but on me, more of a contour, okay? It's gonna add a shadow here. It's not as warm on me, and I love it. And let's blend this in. Let's set the immediate under eye where I crease with this Makeup Forever translucent powder. I gotta keep my eyes like this as I just set it. You don't wanna set your creases, basically, okay? So squinch your eyes, squinch them. I call it squinching. <laughs> and we're gonna go right up in here, okay? And I use a smaller brush because I'm working with a smaller area. And now I'm gonna use a bigger brush. <laughs> Why do I do my eyes like this? And this is a 99 brush from Sephora. I'm gonna use the Huda Glowish powder because when I set this, I want it to look luminous. This is so good. Going on the days for me where I take a highlight and go right here above the cheekbone. I just use this and it looks so good once everything comes together. And what I've been loving to do is take the luminous powder over my brows because the brow pencil goes on a lot easier when your brows are dry. And why not also neutralize above the eyelid? Because hello. And now to set the other areas where I highlighted, I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Easy Bake. The shade is cinnamon. I had to wipe this off yesterday. Do you see a smidge of darkness right here? That is from oil. So when you're using this time and time again, day after day, face to powder, face to powder, powder to face, and so on and so forth, you're transferring oils from from your face to your actual product and then you'll see that the product gets dark. That darkness is a buildup of oil. What you wanna do is from time to time, take a look at it and wipe it off. Literally wipe off a layer of the product to get that oil off and then when you go back to use it for the first time after cleaning it, you're gonna get a lot more pigment, okay? So be easy if you're used to digging into it because you're gonna get a lot more pigment like I just saw right here. But it's okay because we're gonna bring this face all together, okay? How's it looking so far? Come in, let me know. We're gonna deepen this contour a smidge with my old favorite elf powder foundation the shade is rich 660 and this is very dark let's go easy starting more toward the hairline and then building this up again you know i like a really good snatched face i don't do natural if we're gonna do natural we're not gonna wear makeup okay that's natural
I did my favorite golden hour blush from Dennis and Myricks on the cheeks. And of course I did my brows using the Koki Cosmetics brow pencil, which I do enjoy. I'm using this Makeup Forever eyeshadow palette that I have not used yet. And in my crease, I'm using this shade right here, which is a reddish brown. I love to start off with that in my crease. You know that for sure. This is a Morphe M441 brush. So right here, I've spread it into my crease and brought it into the brow bone just a smidge. Oh, and I set the brow bone with the Makeup Forever translucent powder. Now with this 414 brush, I'm gonna take this. Now there's a lot of fallout in this palette i mean you know look at the price there's a lot of fallout in this palette although i do enjoy this color so right here under the eyes let's apply it because we're going to connect it right back here Oh my gosh, I actually like this palette. I use this burgundy color in my crease with the brown to again, build up that gradient, which you know I love. I live for a gradient. I live for a sunrise, a sunset, the whole thing. Love it. And then the brown is making it look like a dark purple. This is my kind of look. And I just thought to myself, man, I've been doing the no eyeshadow base eyeshadow looks for a long time and there's no issue with them. This looks good. Would change because hello, love in the eye, love this. I'm gonna line my lips with this Sephora 26 lip stain because you know this is the bomb. You just know how much I love this. Ooh, every single time, what is it? If you see my videos, you know what I'm about to do right now. Every time I get to my lips, I recognize that I'm missing something. Mil Cosmetics highlighter, the shade is lit. I gotta do my highlighter down the middle of the nose and right here above the lip. Ooh, it makes such a difference when the lippy comes on. Excuse me? Yes. Huh? low and then right here under the lip yes very subtle but you see it i know you see it here we go we're going to find this right here all right we're going to blot to blend that down and in the middle i'm going to use this christian louboutin lipstick this is called bear kate 303s Ooh, a nice soft pink okay it's a this must be one of the luminous matte mm, it's a lot lighter than i would like even in pigment hang on let me get a little closer so it's hydrating, it's not as full coverage as I would like when it comes to a lippy, but I'm noticing that both the foundation and the lippy, at least this one, this is the only one that I've tried, when it comes to coverage, it's more on the medium side. Now, I say that because you know I have the dark spots on my lips, which I do love. When I do put on makeup, I want that to be fully covered. This feels like a gloss. I like the shade though, what do you think? All right, here's the finished look. I think it came out nice. I love how this foundation looks, love how it feels. Comment below and let me know what you think. Do you plan on trying this out? Do you think you'll find your shade? If you don't, believe me, I get it, I get it. I have found my shade. If you are my shade match, then you know we have two good options to choose from, 80N and 75W. I'll catch you in the next video. Mm.